I bought this Dyson hair dryer off eBay. These things are really expensive. And apparently the fault with this is that it's got no power, so let's test it. Let's plug it in. It works. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, hang on. There we go, it's gone off. It's gone back on again. There's a problem in this wire. Oh, no. yeah, okay. It is kind of faulty. I mean, I got this for, what did I pay for it? I think I paid about £75 for it, which is ridiculous for something that is supposedly faulty. But I think they're, they're like 300 quid or something. It's scandalous. Anyway, this might be quite an easy fix. Or it might not be, because I've got no idea how you get in these things. Uh, but let's give it a go. I am unplugged now, by the way. I can see a couple of screws. And obviously the little star bit ones. X 1.3 That's the one I mean it does look like there's quite a lot of fluff inside here right, That screw is covered in fluff Right now what do I do? Okay <coughs> Yeah Now what? Right, now we've got another hex screw and it's obviously bigger than the last one. I think it is actually a star bit. It is. And that's a T6. No, it's too small. <laughs> Come on, tenth time lucky. It's a 7. T7. Oh, I've got more screws there. You know what, I might have to watch a teardown video on this because I can't see any more screws and that still doesn't want to come out. Do I have to take the... Yeah, that's going to be in the way, isn't it? If that slides down, that's going to be in the way. Does it just pop off? Yes, it does. I don't know if that should be glued, maybe. I might have to glue that back on. Right, is that going to come down now? Do I have to take that one off as well? Wow, oh, they don't half fire off those. Aha, there we go. Right, we've got little filtery things. Make sure I put those back on. Uh, right, where does the wiring go? Ah. Genuinely feels like I'm going to break it. Right, there's the wiring. I can see it. So where has it gone? Where's the fault? Well, I can see. Look at that there. Looks like that is that's the end of the strain relief. That looks like, yeah, it looks damaged there, doesn't it? I'm going to take a punt and say that's where it is. In fact, I'm so confident I'm going to cut it off. Uh, let's cut it off here. There is still loads of wire, by the way. It's a really long cord. Now what do I do? Tell you what, this is not that easy. To <laughs> I thought it would be easy. But the way these wires are routed, or routed, uh, makes it quite difficult. I think I'm going to have to get rid of this. Yeah. I need to undo this. I'm guessing there's some uh, spade connectors inside there under this heat shrink. I mean, that all looks fine there, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks okay. <laughs> I'm bleeding. <sighs> Every time. It's right under.
under the nail. <laughs> really hurt. Wow. I'm just getting blood everywhere now. Well, this is obviously some kind of strain relief here as well, isn't it? And I don't really know how it works. I don't know how I'm going to be able to reuse this. I guess it's designed to not be removed because that is just one solid piece. You know, I genuinely thought this was going to be easy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reuse this. Thing is, if I don't put it back in, then there is no strain relief. We'd just be pulling straight on these. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to try and break this open. Alright, so it fits in there at the end. And it will be clamped together with the screws. So as long as... Yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to try and cut this open. Because there's no way of me getting the wires back through it. Obviously, I'm going to lose a bit of strength, but I can't see what else to do. Let's do it. Trusty Dremel. I don't really know how to do it. I don't know how to go that way or just right through the middle. Either way, <laughs> it's going to be fairly destructive. I think through the middle. Let's have a look at that. Does it make any more sense? No. Sorry, Dave. Oops. Uh, I'm making a bit of a mess here. There we go. That was the thing that was holding it all in. Whatever that is. Right, I haven't gone all the way through this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reuse this now after I've basically destroyed it. But the way I see it, if I can get it back in there somehow, get the cable through it, even if you just tie a knot in this end, you know, it will... Sorry. It will give it some kind of strain relief. I don't. It's not going to be as good as it was new, obviously, but then again, it still failed, hasn't it? I mean, that's still going to grip it very strongly if I can get it back in. But it's now totally <laughs> misshapen. Right, I'm going to try and solder these wires directly onto here. I don't have any of these uh, these little, what they're called, spade connectors. And I think if I do try and use I'd probably have got some somewhere, but if I try and use them, I just, I just think they're going to fail because I can't do them as well as... They have been done in the factory. So let's try soldering instead. Going to put some heat shrink tubing over it. That should be all right. That's pretty good. What I'm going to do now, can I do it? Yeah. I'm just going to plug this in. I'm going to obviously stay well away from this. I'm going to plug it in, just make sure that it actually comes on now. Because if it doesn't, I will cry. 
All right, plugging it in now. Are you going to work? Yes. Okay, that's good. Right, let's see if I can now get these rerouted. I can't get that back in properly. So I've managed to get half of it in, so it's sort of half clamping it. But when you pull on it, it, it definitely doesn't go anywhere. It's very sturdy. It's obviously just not as sturdy as it was when it came out of the factory. But I, uh, I genuinely can't see another way of doing it. It's a shame, really. It's possible that this will fail again, but, but for now, I think it, it's going to be okay. Well, that fits on there nice and snugly. That's definitely being added to my list of things I never want to work on again. So fiddly. I'm glad I didn't have to get inside this bit. I bet that'd be an absolute nightmare. Uh, but anyway, I think I got there. So we've got everything back together now. The strain relief... I mean, I don't know how long that's going to last, but, you know, it should be better than it was. But we can test that. So let's plug it in and see if it works. Right, we're in. Come on. Oh, yeah. No more powerful? Yes, it does. Well, it works. Let's just uh, wobble the cord around. I think we're okay. But yeah, definitely adding that to the list of things I never want to work on ever again. Ever.